Hey guys, I have something really cool to show you. Um, before I get super too deep into it, I'm gonna I'll, I'll tell you how I how I came to have it on my desk here. Apparently, a long time ago, this was all my girlfriend's uncle's stuff, but I, I think he died a while ago, and ever since he died, it's been sitting in her in her parents' closet. And so I think the way the story goes is that he had at least another Sega Genesis, and I think the cousins have that, and they've you know that was the played on one, that was the one that was played with, and they have it, and they have a few games and all that stuff. And this Genesis was um, just sitting brand new in the box ever since, you know, f pretty much forever. And um, we got quite a few games here, some really cool... Um, I, I haven't played any of these ever, really ever played the Sega Genesis. I'm quite quite young for it. Yeah, and um, my, I've been dating my girlfriend like for five years, and she kind of finally mentioned that, oh yeah, we have a Sega Genesis in the, in the closet somewhere at home. So I know I never really knew about it until about a couple months ago. And I started asking her, well, next time we go to your parents' house, maybe we should go pick it up and see if we can get it from your dad. And so we kind of, so she finally went over there and grabbed it. And she took it out of the bag. And I, and I wasn't there when she went and grabbed it, but she showed it to me. And it was all this stuff. Like, these games are still in their original plastic from the shelf. And I took a look inside this uh, box, and that Sega Genesis has never left the box before. That's pretty cool. And I looked up some of these games, and this Truxion, Truxion game is actually worth a pretty penny. So, I mean, the, some of the plastic's busted open in spots, but, you know, it's never been played. It's been sealed forever. It's, like, really cool stuff. And these are just the ones I wanted to take a look at, because I've heard of Echo, T Tides of Time. I've heard about that game. Obviously, everyone knows, knows what Sonic is. Yeah, I thought this stuff was really cool. And we have a few more games over here. I just haven't put them on this table yet or nothing. And um, I definitely don't have a place to put these right now it's for safekeeping, so I'm just putting them in this this empty cubby hole in this, uh, my entertainment center and keeping it shut. Um, but we have more sealed games. We have a copy of Dragon's Fury, which is it's a pinball game, so it's a fantasy-style pinball game. Yeah, I think he had quite a few of these. So he either had more pinball games and more golf games, Maybe at the at the parents' house that we haven't retrieved yet, but he says he's. But um, she said that we have more uh, she, that he had more games sitting in the closet, but you know, some of these are only worth a few bucks, even if they were sealed. But some of these are actually you know kind of pretty cool looking. There's some kind of Taz Taz game sealed. It looks like it's some kind of platformer. Uh, Jurassic Park, the game for Sega Genesis, still has the original plastic, and a lot of this plastic has been busted open in spots, just because it's probably been sitting in the closet for years, and, you know, maybe stuff got dinged into it while it was sitting on a shelf or something, or I feel like these plastic tabs eventually busted their way through the plastic over the years, so that's probably pretty common if I had to guess. And then, oh wow, what is this one? I'm trying to keep real good care of some of these. Then Outrun 2019. So this game takes place in the future, but no, that, that was two years ago, so it's pretty cool. Whenever the, you know, future concepts, this game probably came out in early 90s. Outrun 2019, Sega 1993. So they, you know, people in the 90s thought, you know, today would be, you know, leaves forward for technology, and it kind of is. But nothing quite like rocket cars or nothing. But this game seems pretty cool. Sit. Looks like it's almost like a simulation racing game. It's actually, it looks pretty cool. This is. I wouldn't really expect to see something that looks like this on a Sega Genesis or a 16 bit console. Then we have a bunch of opened up games that I imagine these ones probably have been played. And these ones are more, more uh, common. IndyCar Racing, this is similar to that other one we just looked at. Definitely probably more simulation side than the other ones. Uh, Cruel Ball, a uh, Crew Ball, so like another pinball game. Kind of you know, neat looking like this 80s, 90s art style is really cool and it's just, it's just a simple pinball game. Tension Headbangers, so like some kind of heavy metal rock and roll type theme pinball game. Yeah, this one's been open. We could probably play this one sometime if I 
get another Genesis to play some of these games on. I'm not taking that one out of the box, just to let you know. Lotus 2. Another, like, maybe arcade-style racing game. It's hard to say what was what was an arcade game, what was a simulation game back then, because, you know, nothing was quite like real life. And, you know, it's, it's hard to take a 2D game and make it look like 3D and make it be authentic. Uh, Battleship. Classic Naval Combat. So is this just like a... Looks actually kind of interesting. Let me get that glare out of the way. There we go. Yeah, use radar, visual targeting, high tech communication, hunt down your targets. That looks pretty in depth, actually. Nice. It's got a cardboard sleeve uh, compared to the other ones. Then uh, the humans. Sega Genesis. Sega. The Sega Seal of Quality. Looks like some kind of adventure platformer. Yeah, some of these games just look really cool. And I'm I'm not one like I'm 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 the kind of guy that play these games for five minutes and then put them down for three years. Um, more pinball games, pin virtual pinball. I wonder if there's a market for these pinball games for people. If someone if there's a certain set of people that like these. And uh, a cartridge cleaner. This was also in there. Sega Genesis cartridge cleaning system actually cleans cartridges and the and the game in the slot itself on the on the Genesis. So I mean, whatever used to clean that up probably is long gone. So a little dusty. I tried dusting some of this stuff, but I didn't want to touch it too much. So those are the the other games we got. I put the other ones on the table just uh, because I figured they're a little more recognizable. And then yeah, here's a sealed copy a game called Mercs. Sega Genesis. Um, doesn't say who's developer. I, th I swear I've seen a lot of these games developed by EA, but I don't see a developer for this one. Kind of a top-down kind of action game. Never heard. I don't think I've heard about this one before. Obviously the classic Sonic 2. People, I think people like the first two or three Sonic games as much as, you know, the first one. And this is not for resale. This must have been the one that came with the uh, game, uh, the box itself, or one of the Genesis's. Because I know there's you know at least two of these floating around that he used to have that the uncle used to have. Imagine you're trying to you know you're trying to pick what game you want to buy, and these are the tiny little photographs you get to look at to figure out like what the game actually looks like. And unless you had a magazine, you probably had no way of knowing what these games looked or played like or what. And you know, some of these games have really light story, if any at all. So you like, you know, these paragraphs on the back, do they really have anything to do with the story or what really happens in these games? But everyone knows what's going on in Sonic. Especially by Sonic 2 and 3, they knew what they were, they were getting into. Echo of the Tides of Time. I've heard about this one. This is like one of those underrated gems some people talk about, like... Actually, it looks kind of cool. Like, the gameplay looks like it's a little bit of a side-scroller. And then, like, it kind of changes up. It looks like it goes kind of 3D, like a... Oh, what's that? Harrier. Super Harrier game. Whatever that Harrier game is called. I think Sega made that, too, maybe. Or Capcom. But, yeah, you play as the dolphin. You go do time travel stuff. And it's like you go in the, you know, millions of years. This is, I think, one of those underrated gem classics for sure. Then we have Grenada. Uh, it looks like it's a kind of a top-down bullet shooter. I don't really know how to describe some of these games. I definitely was not around back then to play these. This one seems probably um, the most fun to maybe just try popping in sometime. Yeah, I'll keep the the games that are sealed. I'm definitely not touching those. Um, if I get another Sega Genesis that one isn't in the box, I'll you know probably try some of these. I I, I do I super do want to try them. Um, I really do want to try Echo the Dolphin. That looks you know like it's definitely something of its time. And then Shadow of the Beast. 
which to me kind of sounds like it's a uh, what's that game? Uh, Altered Beast. It sounds like it's it sounds kind of like one of those. Like and this game actually says yeah, yeah electronic arts. And it kind of looks like, yeah, it's your action platformer. It looks kind of like, um, it's probably something like your Altered Beast style of game. And Altered Beast was kind of a hard game. I played that a little bit. I had a little mini Genesis a while back. That I had a few games built onto it, and I, I got rid of it. just because it wasn't, didn't really make sense for my kind of collection. Um, but Altered Beast looks like it was kind of a fun but hard game. And, of course, you see how this one's got the plastic. It's... Actually, look really good. There's a couple small holes in the plastic here. Uh, it looks like the corner's peeking out just a little bit. I'm trying to be real gentle with this. You know, it's got a couple holes off in the side of it, but I mean, this is like really great condition, and I really love the way these look. You know, the bottom is still looking good. A couple small holes. Uh, I don't think any of these are going to win any awards or anything. You know, go for millions of dollars, but this is some really cool stuff. And um, as far as I know, this might be the crown jewel of what we got in this whole collection. Um, a game called Trucks Ion or Truxian. And I watched some gameplay of this and it looks pretty, you know, it's kind of like one of those bullet hell shooters. Very precise, dodging, having to dodge, you know, bullets, you get upgrades, power-ups. Very much like 1942, I love that game. I um, played that in the arcade a lot when I was younger. And arcades are still kind of a thing. Not arcades, but, you know, you go places and they would have game, uh, arcade machines. Yeah, this one's got, you know, the whole top half is kind of busted open. That's definitely these tabs. These tabs have busted them open a lot. I wish more of them were like this where the tab was made to be sticking out. Because then I think a lot more of them would have survived. But no one, I don't think anyone, no one, no one, no one was under the intention of having these last 30, you know, 30 years without being open. They're all meant to be sold and played. Which is why they can be worth a lot because they weren't meant to be. They were meant to be opened in play, but some of these didn't never happened. You know, so we got one big opening here. Opening on the top, hole in the top. Everything else, you know, really it looks like perfect condition on the back. The artwork looks perfect on the front. The bottom seal's not half bad. Actually, it looks you now there's a little hole right there in the bottom, but this game is definitely gonna you know. Uh, the guys at the pad, my local old game store, they told me to get some of this stuff graded, and I think I'm definitely going to send in the box for the Genesis, because the box itself looks really great. Um, a couple dings in the corners, maybe a little wear on, on the edges in the corner, and I think you know down at the bottom, that's one of the worst spots, actually. But other than that, there's a little wear on the bottom, I looked, but everything's never been on the box. The artwork on the front looks absolutely perfect, and I love the way that looks. It's super pretty. Like, the front face of this box looks like it was made yesterday. I have played a couple Sega Genesis games on my emulator on my Raspberry Pi. But I didn't know what to look for. And, I, you know, I, I know I know about Sonic and a couple other games on Genesis. But other than that, that's all I got. And like I said, Monica said she had some other games at their parents' house still sitting in the, gar in the, in the closet. But she said she picked out the most interesting looking ones. So chances are the other ones that are left are probably, you know, some golf games or... Or pinball. Um, yeah, you should totally um uh, message me in the comments saying what you know what is some other games I should maybe get for the Genesis where I can go get a you know maybe how much I don't know how I should what I should spend on a good on a you know decent Genesis. Should I get one like this, the one that looks like I don't know what I don't know anything about what the models are supposed to be. So just let me know what I should probably get or what I should do with these games. What I should you know should I keep them locked up? I was gonna go and um actually gonna go down to IKEA soon and get some get a display case for some of these and my other games that are probably worth putting in there so i'll probably show you that when i finally get one because these games are going to go in that in that entertainment center and be shut very tight for a while until i figure out what to do with these i um, mean yeah, i should totally hit like subscribe um if you want to see more videos if you want maybe you know maybe if you guys can convince me i'll take the sega genesis out of the box just to show you up i won't open it up or take anything out of the plastic because i saw in there that still everything was in the plastic bags but, um, yeah, if you think it's worth making a video out of, just let me know. I'll do it. Um, but I'm definitely not taking the plastic off any of these any of these games. So, yeah, like and subscribe on the video, and I'll maybe try making more so stuff like this. But, um, yeah, and check out the uh, this playlist here for all my news videos that I make, keep up with uh, kind of the current gaming.
gaming industry situations. So see you guys later.